Hey there, James Donaldson here. Hey, I wanted to share with you a little bit today about what I, what I identified in myself that told me that I was having some serious mental issues going on. Uh, this was probably all through 2017 where my business financially was distressed and finally had to put it out of its misery and put it out of its, out of its uh, business and that cut off my income as well so that's been it for most of this year 2018 um, my health was still kind of up and down a lot of times um, I had uh, some surgeries for some heart issues that I developed in 2015 and still working my way to get back on top of all of that that in itself can be a mental uh, challenge for a lot of folks who've been physically active all their lives like I have and being able to run and jump and do things at will and no longer able to do those things. That causes mental distress. A uh, personal relationship I had with a wonderful woman and her, her nine-year-old boy as they packed up and moved out one, one weekend when I was out of town, unbeknownst to me, uh, with no explanation, uh, no discussion, no conversation, it just happened. Uh, and so all those kind of things, coming home to an empty home for months and months on end after that, really put me into a tailspin. Around Thanksgiving 2017, I found myself not being able to sleep through the night anymore. And just waking up at 1, 2 in the morning, my mind is racing like crazy, 100 miles an hour, trying to figure out, one, how to get out of what I'm in, this uh, dark place that I'm in, and two, how to, how to resolve all of that. And of course, trying to get back to sleep and get a decent night's sleep. Um, after several nights of that, I realized that something was definitely wrong. So I called my doctor and let him know what was going on with me. And he immediately diagnosed uh, anxiety and depression and suicidal tendencies, suicidal thought plans even of how to play it out. Uh, all of those things were very scary to me. So I reached out to some friends to really be there for me throughout, and they carried me through the next several months, checking in on me a couple times a week, uh, being there for me when I called them, and just really being true friends that I always knew they were. They, they knew me from the last 30, 40 years, so they knew the old James, how he usually is, and they couldn't believe this new James that was really struggling with life and struggling to find his way. So that's how I did it. Uh, I didn't resort to drugs, didn't resort to alcohol, didn't resort to crazy behaviors. I just hung in there and got medical advice and sought the friendship of good friends. Thank you. I hope that helps you.